What's going on today, people? This is the Jewish Ref, back again with another video. Today we've got uh, some dual replays, and I just wanted to talk about um, my current experience on the ladder, everything that's been going on in this current season. Um, so I finally just got my third um, card from the, I don't know, the, the exchange ticket thingy. I don't know what it's called. But I used all three of them to get Red Eyes Insights, and this is the deck I've currently been using on the ladder. Uh, this is... A variation of this, uh, I also, instead of having two, well, instead of having three Red Eyes Insights, I had a Super Rush Headlong for a long time, and I had, instead of another Tribute to the Doomed, or instead of Tribute to the Doomed in general, I had another card to the Redstone. Uh, I saw a video similar, or a deck similar to this, on Decade's video that he had a while ago. Uh, this is also another deck I've been using. Uh, I've only been using this recently, so none of the videos and or none of the replays in this video will have this deck. But this one has been working out as well. Uh, I highly recommend getting um, your hands on Insights, at least two of them, I think. Uh, it got me from Plat One to Plat Five. I, I was in Plat One uh, last time I did any sort of video. I'm, I'm doing this after the Rex video, though. Uh, after my previous uh, Magna Ores video because um, I wanted to be lower on the ladder so I wasn't tilting super hard when I was doing the Magna Ores. Um, I haven't looked over any of these and some of these range in skill and level and whatever, I don't know, but there's a reason I saved them, that's my mentality. Uh, yeah, so this deck has been really good. Uh, overall this climb, it's only been, well today's what, the, uh, the 11th? So it's only been 11 days into the season and it's, it's been good. I've been getting tilted a lot, but let me tell you, holy shit, Ultimate Providence is like the best card ever. I've only had one of these until like uh, probably four days ago when I started laddering with this deck and holy shit, Ultimate Providence is so good right now. Uh, it, it just, if you have it out and you have a monster in your hand, uh, and their phoenix, like, you just straight up shit on them. It's it's incredible. This is also one of those duels where I have Super Rush Headlong. So, yeah, pretty much consider in the deck list, take out one um, of the insights and put in a Super Rush Headlong. And, like, that's pretty much what I've been using. Um, this guy activates... Whoops. This guy activates the Mirror Wall after the battle phase, which... God, pick your mind. Uh, which can only mean one thing. Uh, that's right, this is luck on your side, <laughs> which, uh, if you haven't seen any of my videos prior to this, you would, you would know, uh, well, you wouldn't know. Luck on my side, luck on your side is probably my least favorite ability out there, uh, but I, I, oh, I remember I saved this one out because, uh, Ultimate Providence just dunks on luck on, luck on your side if you've got the right hand for it. It's so funny, <laughs> um, and I get the spirit out so I get to bring out my red eyes. Um, so this, this was a lot of fun. So yeah, uh, I think this deck is entirely, or this, yeah, luck on your side is entirely stupid. I have it, I will never use it, I don't think, because I, well, it's pretty dumb. Um, yeah, so let's, let's see. Uh, I, <laughs> the last time I said in my videos I am going to be talking about just like real my life and stuff and less focus on the deck because at this point the deck should be obvious. Anyone who's watched these videos um, should know, or watch any sort of Yu-Gi-Oh videos, should understand the power that is Red Eyes. And I should have played around the Windstorm here, but I really, uh, just wanted to play around the Econ, because that's what I thought he had. Um, here I go talking about the plays in the game again. <laughs> um, if you don't like me talking about my life and stuff in these videos, um, I don't care. These aren't your videos, these are my videos. So, yeah. Go away, no one wants you here if you're gonna be mean. As I've said in many of my videos, don't be a dick. Um, but a lot of people in the comments just don't get that, you know? Ah oh, shit, wait, I forgot. Gotta have that airplane mode off. God, I gotta, oh wait, I remember what it is now. It's uh, do not disturb, there we go. So I'm going to delete the Joey Wheeler one. Yeah, God, fuck. Okay, apparently I don't know what I'm doing. You get to watch me struggle out here as I clearly don't understand how to take, I don't know, how to, how to make it so that I don't get texts during these things. I've told my girlfriend many times, many times not to FaceTime me during uh, my recordings, and I let her know what I'm recording, but she texts me anyway. So yeah, there we go. Um, so let's see, what's going on in the world right now? Uh, hurricanes are not good. That, that is something that should be very obvious. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me figure out what this deck is for one second, because is, is this one that I remember? Oh, yeah, true. This is um, the ultimate Tiltage deck. Uh, but I, uh, th this one's good. You'll enjoy. I hope you enjoy. Please enjoy. <laughs> 
Actually, you know, I don't remember this one because the last 30 card deck I fought was um, Fusion Gate. Hold on, someone is riding a motorcycle on my front lawn. I know professionalism, right? If you came here for professionalism, you came to the wrong place. Oh, I remember now. Uh, Black Luster Soldier. I, I saved this one because who the fuck opens up with this god tier hand in a 30 card deck? This is also my hypothesis. I'm sure there is a stats reason out here for this. I took stats my freshman year of college, but it's clearly been a long time since I have no idea what I'm talking about with this. But there's got to be a statistical reason why, why... Uh, so many of these 30 card decks have perfect hand. I think it's just that they have so many more combos built into their decks than 20 card decks that they're gonna open up with something and just because the god tier thing they open up with isn't the only strat that their deck goes for. That's why they're so lucky and bad. Um, as you can see I had two cards of the redstone and prey. I got an insight or a um, red eye spirit and I got lucky so yeah there we go. I, I'm not bad and lucky. This guy is bad and lucky because I'm gonna win. Because we don't show off losses here, boy. Um, yeah, Hurricane's not good. Um, if you know anyone who is affected by it or if you are currently affected by it, uh, my thoughts go out to you. I hope everything turns out for the better for you, and I really hope um, things like get better from here. One of uh, my friends is currently being affected by it, if you know Mighty Quinn, uh, from my RBL days. He has been, uh, I don't know, I've talked about it in some of my videos. Also, the whole reason we win here is because Super Rush, and that's why I think Super Rush should be in this deck. But you could also take it out for, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Tribute to the Doomed. E either way, either way, they're both good. You could run both, I don't know, whatever you want. Um, also, yeah, like, we win, like, it's obvious, come on. Um... <laughs> Let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, so as I was saying, shoutouts to uh, Quinn for being a good guy. He is one of the uh, few people left in my Dungeons & Dragons game, uh, which is going very well. Uh, I've had some videos on it in the past. I don't recommend looking at them because they're not very good. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, like, it, it could be so much better, those videos, but I just do not have the time to edit, like, four hours of content and make it professional. Also, none of the original cast in that D&D game was professional. Also, shout out to Ultimate Provid Providence again. Ultimate Providence, there we go, for being one of the best cards. And honestly, I think you could run one copy of that card in many different kinds of decks, and it'd be good. Anything that's weak to Phoenix, you run two copies of that and you keep a monster in hand, you are set, my friend. Um, up first is a Yugi Moto in this one. Uh, for any of you who are wondering about my D&D game, because I'm sure there are some of you out there who, like, maybe may not know about it, it's going well. Uh, so we recently had some things happen in it. So our group was initially many people. It was seven, really. Well, six, and then we got someone, but at the same time as we got someone, we lost three people. Um, okay, we, sh we lost two people. We lost one person a long time ago. Uh, we had one person who I will not be naming names, but if you're in the campaign, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Um, this person was disliked by everyone else in the group. They always made horrible decisions. Um, I let them make the horrible decisions, and I honestly regret doing so because they did not deserve to make these uh, decisions, especially in the way that they impacted the group. And I think it was, like, honestly a mistake on my part to let them have gone on for so long. Uh, I don't do anything on this turn because I want Phoenix to pop and then he'll clear his own row and I don't care if I take another 18 from another Fire King Yaksha. Like, that's fine. Pretty much what I need right here is an ultimate providence and, like, I'm set. Um, so we had one person who, and he just mysteriously vanished, which was the craziest thing. Um... It, it was honestly kind of scary the way all that went down. Um, yeah, and I uh, I don't know. He, he just kind of disappeared. He may be, like, in a mental hospital or something? Like, we don't know. Ultimate Providence, that's why we draw it, baby. Uh, <laughs> Ultimate Providence is so good. Like, just, it's the best to run it forever. Uh, we drop the, we drop that because it's the right thing to do. We don't have any uh, spirits, but who needs them? Um, you activate Ultimate Providence as soon as it affects in, it affects in the graveyard, because then it won't be on the field, and it doesn't come back the next turn. It doesn't count as being destroyed if it's already in the graveyard. I love Ultimate Providence. It's so good. Um, yeah, but he has cards of the soul anyway, so, like, whatever. Um, so we had, at that point, it was five people. 
Um, and then my friend Aubrey, shout out to Aubrey, he's the best. Uh, he wanted to join up because he had been asking, or we had been talking about it for a while. He was joining up. But then we had two people who, due to scheduling conflicts in the coming semester, rest of this year, uh, weren't going to be able to really join anymore. One of them came up with Sundays, one of them did not communicate with me after the many, many, many times I tried to communicate with her um, on what she needed to do to stay active in a campaign. Oh, and I'm completely forgetting about Survive. Shout out to Survive for being lackluster at everything. Um, he just basically dropped that shit when I asked him, hey, you want out? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, okay, you never contributed anyway, so like, that's fine. Um, pretty much, Survive has, he was a sorcerer and he cast maybe two two no definitely two maybe three sp no i can i can for sure remember three spells i don't think it was anything more he only cast magic missile thunder wave and dimension door like that's it uh, for his entire time there as a sorcerer as one of the few spell casters in the party so uh that happened everything's good now it, the party is currently three oh if you don't know what DD is or whatever or if you don't play get on that honestly it's so much fun i was kind of a skeptic before i started playing and also this guy runs regular Karibo. Shoutouts to him. Um, yeah. So, uh, if, if you are, uh, like, if you don't play D&D, like, get up on it. Go find yourself a group of friends. Go find yourself some people online who want to play. Like, it's good. You got a Champion's Vigilance that Fire King Island so they don't get to pop their Phoenix, you know? You know, my boy? Yeah. d and is a lot of fun. So, currently, it's uh, my friend Joseph. Uh, shout out to Joseph. It's Aubrey, shout out to Aubrey, and uh, Quinn, who is currently being affected by Hurricane. Shout out to you, Quinn. I hope all is good. Um, we were going to play today, but since we can't do that, since Quinn doesn't have any power, um, I'm doing this instead, and I have to go to work in an hour. So yeah, um, the campaign's good, and all. I'm they're pretty much coming up on one of the few bosses left. There's like this whole thing in their campaign is that they have these bosses who they have to go fight because every time they kill one of these bosses. There's this plague that's through the land, and every time they kill one of these bosses, it makes uh, removing the plague just a little bit easier. Uh, that's pretty much the whole thing. I came up with it over a year ago, and the campaign has involved so much. It's It's been such a good time. Um, honestly, love it. And when uh, the two people left, I asked the three guys who were left, Hey, do you want to keep going with your current characters, or now that everything's changed, do you want to maybe like switch it up at all? Do you want to... Um, and this campaign and do one to one and there was just a resound no because they all wanted to know what was going on in the story and how it was going to end so that just that just made me super happy as the storyteller for this campaign um shout outs to three uh red eyes black dragons on the field you know how we do he can't have that uh windstorm he already used his windstorm so yeah from here we just win because winning is cool um and they don't run uh golden apples and phoenix decks don't you know <laughs> um yeah, so, uh, if you have any questions on D&D, or if you want to have, like, if you want me to talk more about D&D, also I realize it's Yami Yugi and Yugi Moto only in these last four videos. If you want anything on that, like, I was thinking about doing a recap video of everything that happened in my campaign. Um, I just really haven't had the time or motivation to do it, because I don't think people would be interested other than people in my campaign. But if you do want that, like, just let me know and I'll totally do it. Um, I also want to talk about how tilty this ladder has been, because, holy shit, like, today alone, I've had some of the tiltiest games of, like, my entire career. Um, today I, I had a game where it was... I, I was playing with the other Red Eyes, uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon deck, the one I showed off earlier in this video. Um, and I, um, what was it? I had out three Red Eyes, but I was up versus a Yugi Moto, and he had, uh, Grandpa's cards. And he had, um... What was it? Uh, what's the card? Um, the one that whenever you draw a normal monster, you get to draw another card if you reveal it. It was um, Heart of the Warrior, whatever, Courage Warrior, whatever. Oh, we're up against Ice Berries in this one. I hate Ice Berries so much, but we champions Vigilance that Mori because we don't give no fucks, boy. Um, yeah, so, uh, what was I saying? He had, oh, Heart of the Underdog. There we go. And he had two reloads in deck. He opened up two reloads and Heart of the Underdog. Um, he reloaded twice, so, uh, played Heart of the Underdog, and then the next turn, like, well, he didn't open up with it, but, like, um, no, what was it? He opened up two, or he opened up Heart of the Underdog and reload. He, uh, Heart of the Underdog into reload, uh, set a monster, reloaded, pretty much by, like, turn four, he had Heart of the Underdog out, and the rest of his cards were normal monsters, and he drew himself into Exodia, and I was like, holy shit, because he had, like, 400 life points left, something like that? I don't know. Uh, 
I had attacked into him with my red eyes, and it was just like, how are you still fucking here? I should have killed you two turns ago. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was all kinds of tilty. But, um, like, what are you gonna do? That, that's slaughter for you. I've, I've also been up against a lot of Weevil Burn, but, like, this deck absolutely dunks on them as long as you go first, and they don't, like, just luck the hell out of you. But I've been lucked the hell out of many times on this ladder. I've, I keep getting tilted uh, between plat 3 and plat 5. I keep, like, as soon as I hit plat 5, I just get the worst hands versus the best hands for my opponent, and I just, I just lose it. And I just lose my mind because, god, this ladder can be annoying. I'm pretty much, I'm not, I want to get to Legend. Just because I think I can show off some more competitive videos then, and I feel like that's what people want more than anything. Also, I'm keeping cards of the redstone in hand because of this amazing ultimate providence, my boy. Um, also, it doesn't matter if he somehow had two, because I would have red-eyed spirit into there again. But it doesn't matter because we are going to ultimate providence. Uh, honestly, just get yourself an ultimate providence. Like, it's the best. It's so good. Um, I didn't realize that all these uh, games were ones where Ultimate Providence just shined through. Um, but we activate that Red Eye Spirit because we want to tilt these mans. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, if you're getting tilted on the ladder, you might as well tilt everyone else, am I right? Because it's all about you. Yeah, I want to get to Legend so I can show off some more competitive games. I know he doesn't have a Creepo in hand, so this is a GG and a victory for, my, for me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just want to get back to Legend, and I think it'll be good, because also that'll give me another 100 gems. I'm currently saving up. I w I've been blowing my gems like crazy lately, which in I honestly regret, because we know that uh, Elemental Heroes are coming up. What is going on? Okay, and we're back. Um, so, sorry about that. Like, everything got super disconnected and super weird, which was strange. So I only have one more to show, and I honestly don't remember what I was talking about prior to this, um, because it's like... I don't know, a good bit later, after everything happened, so, um, yeah, just that, talking about D&D &D and stuff, uh, I don't know, we got one more video, I also want to talk a little bit more about the Rex event, because honestly, I really hope that, like, at the end of the event, I want my prediction to be right, but also I want this to happen, at the end of the event, I want there to be just a Rex talking about his dino, and he's like, wait, I have this great card, uh, or Pegasus shows up, he's like, wait, I got this card for you, Rex, and he hands him, like, some sort of amazing dinosaur type uh, car that's gonna be super good and then uh, like we all get one of those and like that that'd be amazing in my opinion um, because we just need like one level 8 dino monster just give us that one beater uh, we can build decks around that come on um, yeah so a lot of phoenixes in this uh, in this replay I didn't realize I'd be facing so many phoenixes god I hope I didn't actually delete no no, no I didn't show up this one there has been a flip someone like in this entire thing um, so yeah, the guy gets the phoenix, that's how it goes. Um, I also, uh, what was it? I didn't post a video all weekend, I was pretty much gone all weekend, and I'm going to be gone for a majority of this coming weekend. So I'm probably going to have at least one more video this week, other than this one. Hopefully, maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. Um, and, yeah, what, what was I saying, in fact? What was I saying? Oh, I, I was super busy this weekend, because I was, uh, helping out with, uh, my girlfriend's sister's what wedding, and uh, it was it was super cool. It was the first wedding I really went to as an adult, and I I had never been to like a wedding really at all. I went to one when I was like seven or eight or something like that, and all I remember was eating a lot of snacks, <laughs> which is that's what happens, I guess, right? That that's what weddings are. Um, also, shout out shout outs again to Ultimate Providence. This whole uh, live is just the importance of Ultimate Providence when dunking on Phoenix. Um, because Ultimate Providence is just so good and no one really ever expects it. Um, you don't see it on a lot of decks when really it fits into so, so, so many decks. Um, and we get that spirit popping. So, um, yeah, I, I got to walk my girlfriend's grandmother's down the aisle, which was super cool. Um, I also was not expecting it since they told me I was going to be an usher and I thought that just meant tell people where to sit. Uh, I also thought there would be assigned seating. Um, apparently that's not a thing at all, so I was very wrong to assume so. <laughs> um, also, we ultimate providence the Heavy Knight of the Flame because we don't want him to have Karibo in hand and then we lose a monster. Um, let's see. Yeah, and then this coming weekend I have a camping trip that I'm going on, which I am super excited about. And does he have that Karibo? He does have that Karibo. Um, yeah, so Sphere Karibo showing why it's one of the best cards out there. Um, yeah, so I'm going on a camping trip. 
So, no video this weekend, but, uh, or maybe, I don't know what's going on Sunday. I might have time Sunday. My weeks have become very strange. I only uh, have school and work Monday, Tuesday, well, I have, I have work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I have school uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So, like, my Mondays are pretty lax when it comes to it, so I usually have time on Mondays, and my Fridays aren't completely free. So, <laughs> um... I, I get to go do whatever I want, I get to sleep in it. It's great. Uh, but it also is my last year of college, and I need to start figuring out what I'm doing in life. Um, yeah, so I have meetings with my advisors coming up soon, and I really need to start getting everything figured out. Also, we got that nice red eye spirit, so this guy's doing nothing. He, he pops the uh, phoenix and he's got nothing in hand. This is going away because we're going to destroy it, and honestly, just red eyes has been so good in plat 1 through 5, and I know it's good in Legend um, as well, I mean, people have gotten King of Games with this all the time, people get it all the time. So, I don't know, that's just, uh, that's the moral of the story. Um, the Red Eyes are good, like, they're, they're dominating this meta. I also have been meaning to try out that uh, Red Eyes Grandpa's Cards deck fusion thingy that uh, Guns Blazing posted a while ago. I have not had a full chance to do that yet because I just got the insight today. Um, but yeah, I might do that. I, I'm only going to do that once I hit Legend because I don't want to have that tilt me down from Plat 5 to Plat 1 again. <laughs> uh, that would be super not good. I don't know how long this recording has been, but I've gone over five videos, so it's probably pretty long. Uh, so I'm going to end it there. Uh, I just want to say thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy. Uh, share this video with your friends if you want. I don't know. Like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever. Do all those things. They're all cool things. I hope you really enjoy my content. And if you don't, like... And if it's something that's not me personally that you don't enjoy, please, like, give me a comment. I, I appreciate constructive criticism. But if you're going to be a dick, go somewhere else. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. This is the Jewish Giraffe signing off.